Hi, students, and welcome to today's lesson. I'm Miss Lee. Today, we will investigate the question, how do organisms survive seasonal changes? Are you ready? Grab your pencil and your science journal, and let's get started. Wow, look at these monarch butterflies. See how they are clustered together on the leaves of a tree or maybe a bush. What do you think they are all doing together in this group? Could this behavior help them survive? Well, scientists think butterflies might group together to protect one another from predators. If I were a tiny butterfly, I would want some other butterflies around to help keep me safe. Let's think about butterflies in a different way. Imagine you are outside playing. You happen to glance up and you see this. Wow, the sky is full of monarch butterflies. What do you know about their behavior? It looks like they are flying somewhere together. I wonder where they are going. Do you have any questions about these monarch butterflies and their behavior? What questions would you research to better understand the behavior of monarch butterflies? Maybe this video made you wonder, where do monarch butterflies live? Why are the monarch butterflies in a group? Do monarch butterflies group together like this all the time? Let's start with the first question. Where do monarch butterflies live? Check out this map. This is a monarch butterfly range map that tells us where monarch butterflies live. Do you notice the key at the bottom? All the yellow areas on the map show where monarch butterflies live. What does this map show us about monarch butterflies? Well, I see that monarch butterflies live mostly in North America and South America. I also see that some monarchs can be found in and around Australia. I wonder why the monarch butterflies live mostly in North and South America. Let's take a closer look at the yellow areas of North America. Let's compare the monarch butterfly range map to the North America climate zone map. Hmm. What does the climate zone map tell us about where monarch butterflies are able to live? Wow, it looks like monarch butterflies live in all the climate zones in the United States. They can live in hot and cold locations, and even really dry places like those in the dry desert climate zone. It seems as if monarch butterflies can survive in many different climates. But I wonder, do monarch butterflies live in those places all the time? I know that geese fly away for the winter. Do monarch butterflies do the same? Hmm. How can we get that information? Let's look at some different maps. Look at this. This map shows where monarch butterflies are typically found in the United States during each month of the year. Do you notice the months at the top? I'm going to play a video of monarch butterfly movement through the year. Your job is to pay attention to both the butterflies on the map and the months at the same time. What do you notice about where the monarch butterflies are during each month of the year? Watch one time as I let it play all the way through. Wow, let's watch it again. Isn't that amazing? Let's take a closer look at January through July. I noticed a lot of big changes during those months. What patterns do you notice about where the monarch butterflies are during each month of the year? Pay attention to any patterns you see as you watch. I notice that as the month passes, there are a lot more monarchs. I see a pattern here. More monarchs move toward the northeast as the temperature increases during the summer. Hmm, I wonder what the butterflies do as it gets colder. Let's look at some more maps. What patterns do you notice for August through December? I notice that as the weather gets colder, there are fewer monarch butterflies on the map. I also notice that the butterflies move south to warmer places like Florida. Hmm, do you think the weather affects the movement of monarch butterflies? Maybe monarch butterfly movement is connected to the changing seasons. Let's check out another map to see if we can confirm our idea. What do you notice about this map? Let's look at the key. 
What do you notice? I notice that there is a fall and a spring migration. I also notice that the monarchs move south during the fall and north during the spring. But there is a lot happening on this map and I have a lot of questions. I wonder, what do the colors mean? Let's zoom in on the key to understand what the colors mean. This color, the blue, shows where monarchs live in the winter. This color, the green, shows where monarchs live in the spring. And this color, the yellow, shows where monarchs can be found in the summer. I'm glad we got that figured out because I still have some other questions though. Do monarchs move south to stay warm? Why do monarchs live in a larger area during the summer? I know, maybe we can explore the map to help us understand where butterflies move season by season. Let's start by looking at spring. What do you notice? Look at all those green arrows. Remember, the green arrows show us where the butterflies go in the spring. I noticed that in the spring, the monarchs start to move north. I also noticed that the monarchs are in a larger area than during the winter. Let's look at where monarch butterflies are in the summer. What do you notice? Wow, I noticed that the monarchs are in a lot of places in the summer. I also noticed that the monarchs are in northern areas where they aren't found at any other time of year. What happens with the butterflies in the fall? What do you notice? Look at the orange arrows. The monarchs move out of the middle of the United States and go south. I also noticed some monarchs stay moving toward the west coast of the United States during the fall. Finally, what do you notice happens with the butterflies in the winter? I noticed the monarchs go to California, Florida, and Mexico. In the winter, the monarchs are only in a few really small areas. Let's put all our observations in one place. Wow, it seems from our map that butterflies move a lot over the course of a year. I wonder why they do that. Let's learn more about this movement from our book, A Butterfly is Patient. A butterfly is magical. Monarchs gather in huge numbers in the forests of central Mexico waiting for spring. Then they fly north to the milkweed plants in North America where they lay their eggs. Now it is time again for their metamorphosis. What do you think the book means when it says that the butterflies are waiting for spring? I think the book means that monarch butterflies stay in a few locations in the south to wait for spring. Then in the spring, they return to areas in the north and prepare to lay eggs. How would you describe the monarch butterflies' movements through all four seasons? I would say that monarch butterflies go south to warmer places during the winter. They go north during the spring and summer, and then they start moving south again during the fall. I also noticed that the monarchs go from being in a lot of places during the summer to a smaller area in the fall. Then they move into even smaller area in the winter before they spread out again in the spring. Scientists have a word for this type of movement. It's migration. Migration is the movement of animals from one region or environment to another, usually according to the seasons. Now that we know this movement is a form of migration, how do you think migration might help monarch butterflies survive? Well, I know that monarchs rely on plants for food. If they stayed in the north during the winter, do you think they would have enough food? I think some of the plants they rely on might die when it gets too cold. I also wonder about their delicate wings. Are butterflies really suited to living in cold weather? Many scientists now believe that monarch butterflies migrate due to seasonal changes in their environment, like changes in temperature and precipitation. 
These seasonal changes make the environment less suitable for monarch butterflies. So they migrate to a more suitable environment until the conditions change back. Your task for today will be to answer the question, why do the seasons cause monarch butterflies to migrate? So what new questions do you have about butterfly migration? I wonder, do all butterflies migrate? And do butterflies return to the exact same place they started? I wonder, how do butterflies know where to go? I also wonder, did the butterfly that formed this fossil migrate? We'll work on answering these questions next time. Let's review your task for today. Answer the question about monarch butterfly migration. 